Hey guys, welcome back. So I was pre-recording earlier and so I realized that I was talking to myself because I wasn't recording. So yay me! Anyways, for today's video because I'm finally gonna try the new Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I am so excited for this. I just love the way it sounds. Matte and hydrating. It sounds awesome to me because I love to be matte and hydrated at the same time. Even though it's weird. But anyway. So yes, so we're going to try that. I got pretty much everything that comes with this line. It's the, um, I got the concealer, the foundation, and I got the little blender thingy my jiggy. So as you can see, I was putting on the concealer until I realized that I was talking to myself. Anyway, so <clears throat> I actually got the concealer in 330 nude chair and out I was really hoping that the color works out because that's the thing with the drugstore that you can test out your color shade or however you want to call these things okay I think the color works out it's a little light but I mean, I always let, use light concealers anyway for, are you seeing anything? Should I zoom you in a little bit? I like the blender, however, it feels a little rough. I don't know how that's going to work for the foundation. For under eyes, just fine. And I'm really loving this concealer. It's very natural. I am going to set that in with this huge powder brush because I can't find my setting brush anywhere. Okay. So now, which I should have done this before, I'm going to go in with the Baby Skin by Maybelline Pore Eraser since we're doing the whole Maybelline thing. I already have everything else done, pretty much, like, as you can see, I have lipstick and eyeshadow. Fix these pores. Alright, now for the main guy here. I'm going to start off with a little bit. I got the shade 20 Classic Ivory. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to dab this in. Mm -hmm. I can tell that a little bit goes a long way. As far as the color, I feel like it's a little pinky or I don't know uh, I mean how does this beauty blender work I mean are you supposed to I mean okay I definitely do not like this this is not working out at all let's forget that I'm gonna go back to the beauty blender Thank God I had it right here and I was like, just in case, let me bring this beauty blender in. Oh my goodness, but overall this foundation seems amazeballs. I'm not really sure about the shade, but I guess I can work with it. Oh my goodness, but yes. I really, really like the foundation and the coverage and everything. It is coming out really, really nice. I just hope that it stays that way throughout the entire day. I'm gonna go ahead and set that with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. 
You guys know how obsessed I am with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation and I really think this is going to be the replacement. I absolutely love it. What do you guys think? Try this foundation out. All right, I'm going to finish it up. I'm gonna put some blush. I thought today was a good day to actually try this foundation just because I have things to do and it's outdoors basically. It's my niece's birthday. I'm gonna set this up with the Maybelline Master Fix. Mm -hmm. But I really like the foundation. It feels like you have nothing on whatsoever. Okay, I'm done, so I'm actually going to see how it goes. Up to now, I absolutely love it. I really think this is gonna be my new everyday foundation because it feels that light, but yet full coverage type. It feels really good, it feels really, really good. So I'm gonna go around, do some errands, go to my niece's party. I will check back in with you in a couple of hours and see how this looks if i have to do like any touch-ups or anything like that i'll keep you guys posted so stay tuned i'll catch up with you later. all right so i've had the foundation on for like an hour and honestly it has not gone anywhere it hasn't even moved this might be my next favorite foundation i love it and, it, and i can't keep on saying it enough it feels like i have nothing on like it's just wonderful it's like 80 degrees outside in florida but yet I don't feel like, you know, that stickiness, nastiness that you feel when you feel like you have a thousand pounds of foundation on. And now these people are looking at me like, why are you talking to yourself? Anywho, so I guess I'll check back in a little later. All right, so it's about five o'clock in the afternoon. And I don't know, what do you guys think? I haven't needed to touch up. Nothing. I'm in the bathroom because if not, people are going to think I'm insane. But anyways, so yeah, I actually think I really like it. I don't think I'm going to change my answer that I like this foundation. So I'll check back in when I get home tonight and check in with the last This is what the foundation looks like. Now it's when I kind of get the feeling that I would want to touch up. But in reality, I really, really did not have to do that at all. This is my new favorite foundation ever. And just in case I missed to show you... The foundation is kind of like a little mousse texture. So this, I'm not sure if the camera is picking up, but as you can see, it's like very moussey. But it feels really, really nice. Like I said, the color is kind of pinky for me, but I mean, I made it work. As far as coverage... It's also pretty amazing because I really went lightly. I did not I did not pack on a lot of foundation. However, the coverage is very buildable. I believe the what they say it is, it is a sheer coverage. It is actually medium to full coverage in my opinion because a little bit went a long way. One thing is do not waste your time with the beauty blender that the line comes with or suggests for you to use. This does not work. No. Mm -mm. This is no bueno. I did not like it at all. Only for this part right here. Yes, that actually worked out beautifully for the concealer and the under eye area. That was, that was really nice. I don't know if it's the concealer. I'm obsessed with the concealer as well because it did not crease at all. It just stayed right intact there. But... I don't know if like the actual applicator helped with that, but I don't know. I would just, nah, I would not waste my time. Like obviously we have the beauty blender for that, but I mean, if you already got it, just please note that it's for this area. This, no, unless there's a specific way that I was supposed to be applying the foundation. If that is so, let me know. Leave me a comment down below what you think about this guy, but for me, mm -mm, it did not work. But the foundation, concealer, uh, found my new favorite product. Amazing. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.
ignore this. This is non-existent.